here as of late, there has been more and more talk of this mystery body in our solar system that is perturbing things in the far reaches of our solar system. Now, I've talked about all the different theories surrounding Planet X, Nibiru, other objects that could be coming in, technologies. We have looked at the asteroid belt that you see here. Ceres sits here. Eris and Pluto sit out here by the Kuiper Belt. Now, they're saying that this Planet 9 that they tried to bring up the end of 2016 that they're saying is there, but they've yet to see it. They're saying that it sits somewhere out here, this Planet 9, in the far reaches of this Kuiper Belt. But what they're saying now is that there's another anomaly that points to another body being out here closer than the Planet 9 that is having effects in the same way. So they're saying there's two different bodies out here of which they've yet to lay their eyes on. Some are asking the question, how come all of a sudden there's perturbing out here? How come we didn't see it before? Did they show up recently? Or did this newest object show up recently? The time frame, sketchy. But there's all the talk of another planet, Planet X, the mysterious planet or system. We've even talked about a brown dwarf. And the reason I bring that up is because some of those can only be picked up in the infrared spectrum. Here recently, they repeatedly were stating that they believe every single star system is born a binary, meaning it has a twin. Sometimes there's two, three, four stars that come out of these clusters that are in the shape of eggs where they're born. This also may be what we're witnessing in the area they're blacking out in regards to revelation in the area of the sky that they've completely blacked out that shows what I've depicted as being the face of the dragon. And it almost looks like two stars very close to one another. That may not be the case, but either way, there are binary systems out here. Why would our sun be any different if it did have a twin or another one that was ejected or in a long orbit way out there? Does it ever come in so close? They've actually named that sun Nemesis, its official name. If it is there, if it is a brown dwarf, and it only comes in so close before it goes back out, would it bring in other bodies? This is where they're speaking of rogue planets one that gets picked up by the gravity of our sun, they can come in, can cause some disturbances, and then go back out. It doesn't have to come all the way in toward our sun. Then they say there's a 10% chance now that if a rogue planet did come into the solar system, that it could leave with another planet. Now, this is why I always say, if there's going to be a massive object like that with the mass, literally a mass like that coming in, you're going to see it perturb Neptune, Uranus, Saturn. You're going to start to see effects on all these planets before it even gets near us. So that's the first thing to always watch. It seems like every year there's been the talk of this incoming object, Nibiru, Planet X, Sometimes it seems like always in September, but it never happens. Now, it's almost going to be like the boy that cried wolf for those that have called for this over and over. And years ago, I debated with an individual that was telling all kinds of people to go to the Ozarks. This object's coming in, and I said this exact same thing. If this object so massive was making its way in, how come we're not seeing Saturn tilt? Or any of these other planets, they were not. And nothing happened. So, if something huge is going to be making its way in, you can expect to see the effects on these outer planets. And seeming that anyone out there that has a decent backyard telescope can see Saturn, you yourself can track Saturn, you can see its positioning, you can see its tilt, 
you can see its rings. So we can keep track of this. And I know there's, there's astronomers or backyard astronomers all over the planet that are watching these things. There's only so much that they can cover up and keep secret. So when you start to see independent researchers, scientists, backyard astronomers reporting that they're seeing anomalies around these planets, that's when I believe you need to pay attention and something is making its way in. And you could be one of those individuals. Like I said, you can see Jupiter, Saturn, you can see these other planets out there. But it's no secret we're lied to in mass, and they try to erase history from us. But what they're saying here, once again, is there is a mystery object that's not Planet Nine. They want to keep repeating that it's not Planet Nine. There's something else there. So we have two objects out here near the Kuiper Belt region that's doing something. And they keep repeating this theme. So this isn't, this isn't, to me, like I was dealing with other YouTube channels throughout the years that were making false claims of this, like I just explained. This is now the mainstream channels and outlets all pushing this repeated theme. And you have to ask yourself why all of a sudden. They constantly keep hinting at this mystery object that's out there. They're saying it's there. There's not a question of if it's there. It's there. They're saying they haven't seen it with the telescope or at least, you see if they say that, they'll have to show us images. And that could be game changing. And obviously they don't want that to happen at this point. But this is some of the latest uh, talk once again about another object, and I wanted to make it clear, it's not Planet Nine. They say that, yes, that's in the equation, but there is another mass out here perturbing things. Something we'll just have to keep an eye on. If you guys got anything you want me to report on, let me know, dabu7yahoo.com. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. I'll leave links below. Eyes to the skies.